Hey guys, this is just a little impromptu video I thought I'd do. I just woke up from uh, sleeping in a little bit because I had a night shift at work yesterday and that always screws me up after when I have to switch back to like falling asleep at night. But anyway, I thought I'd do a get ready with me and like make it a chit chatty video. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So first I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer on my eyelids. In case you can't tell from my voice, I am sick as balls right now. <laughs> yeah, I've just been getting sick a lot this winter and it's no fun. I'm just grabbing um, the shimmery eyeshadow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow, oh sorry, Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. And I'm using the color Vermeer. That guy right there. And I'm just slapping it on my eyeballs myself look a little more alive. In case you weren't aware, the new season of Attack on Titan is up. And I'm actually very impressed with the first episode. I felt like in season one of Attack on Titan, the first five episodes were absolutely amazing. Like I couldn't stop watching it. And then after that, they just kind of fizzled out. And I feel like that's like the main issue with the um, the people that make Attack on Titan, they start off really strong and then they don't really know where to go from there. But I'm hoping that in season two, that they can keep me on the edge of my seat instead of like, have me fall asleep like I did in season one. Anyway, I'm using still the same palette and I was just putting antique bronze on the outer half of my eye. This is probably not gonna be like a crazy look. I'm probably just gonna go out and have fa with uh, my boyfriend after this. And I'm pretty sure it's pronounced pho, so that's the Vietnamese noodles. It's written P-H-O. If any of you know the correct pronunciation, please verify. <laughs> because I swear that's how you say it. And a lot of people I know, they go, Oh, it's pho, it's pho. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm going to use actually the um, fluffy end of this brush that came in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to dip into the dark brown, cypress umber. I just slather it on. <laughs> That's a great word. Slather. Speaking of anime, the second season of um, My Hero Academia is also out, and the first season I absolutely loved. It's such a good show. I love All Might, I love Deku, I love all the characters. They're just so precious. I'm really excited for their big like Olympic Games or something or whatever it's called. Anyway, that's what Cypress Umber looks like. In case you care. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna get rid of that excess shadow on my blending brush and dip into tempera. I want to be a good makeup guru and point to the color before I put it on. Starshy B. And I'll just use it to blend out the top of my eyeshadow and highlight my brow bone that doesn't exist. Put it on. Put it on. There we go. And then I'm going to take that dark brown and put it on the outer half of my lower eyelid. Very nice, very nice. So, the Nintendo Switch, I think it launched on March 3rd. It's um, the newest gaming console from Nintendo and my boyfriend actually bought one. <laughs> and I think it arrived to his house today, so maybe I can like sneak over and play it. Because he bought Breath of the Wild. I can probably bribe him to let me play because I have this beautiful Link amiibo. <laughs> Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? He's pretty expensive compared to most other amiibos, but I had to have him. If you get like, look at this precious baby. Are you seeing this? But yeah, if you um, kind of like enter that, like tap the amiibo on the switch or however it works, you get like extra stuff for the game for Breath of the Wild. So I'm gonna ask him, can I play? I'll let you borrow my amiibo. So now I'm going to use the Heroine Make 
liquid eyeliner. I've been using a lot more liquid eyeliner recently compared to gel. I was like a die-hard gel eyeliner fan, but I realized it really tugs on your eyelids and I don't want wrinkly eyes before my time. So I've opted to get better at using liquid eyeliner even though I, uh, I'm not very proficient <laughs> at this time. But I've noticed that this liquid eyeliner, I don't know if it's with all liquid eyeliners, but it lasts a lot longer. Like I can wear this on a 12 hour shift and it won't transfer at all and it'll look almost the same as when I applied it originally. So yeah, hopefully I can get really good at this because it still takes me a little while to do. Just trying to get the wings right. I just can't ever get the point. Oh, it's like a fat point. A fat cat eye. I don't know if that's dope or not. <laughs> Let's do the other eye and uh, hope for the best. I can't believe it's already April. I feel like New Year's was like <laughs> maybe a week ago in my mind. Time flies when you're having fun? Or time flies because your sense of chronoception is altered as you get older? I don't know. Okay, let's do the wing. Ah. <laughs> I need to have like surgeon hands to get this perfectly even. You know that saying, eyebrows are sisters, not twins? Well, my eyeliners are like not even sisters. They're like distant cousins. <laughs> but I'm just gonna live with it. You can't really tell my eyes are wonky unless you like stare at my face up close. I don't want to end up fixing this so much that I turn into Avril Lavigne. You know, with like the giant <laughs> panda eyes. <laughs> He wasn't good enough for her. Is that good enough? Sure. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. It's waterproof. I actually really like this mascara. My natural lashes are really short and thin and stubby. So I have yet to find a mascara that lengthens them to the point where I like. However, this mascara does a pretty darn good job out of all of the ones I've ever tried in my life. But I think my favorite is still the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. That's definitely the most dope. Mascara! The dopest! video game that recently came out, other than Breath of the Wild, is Persona 5! I'm currently playing Persona 4 and I am in love with that game. It is so much fun. The characters are so well written and the gameplay is very entertaining. They did a very good job with that. Good job, Atlas. And uh, yeah, it, it makes me really want to try Persona 5. But unfortunately, I only have a PS3. I know they sell the game for PS3, but I'm thinking, should I just fork out the money to get a PS4 Pro and then get Persona 5 and upgrade my old clunky PS3 that I bought off my brother? <laughs> or should I just buy it for this console? Because honestly, I don't play that many video games on the PS3 anyway. And there aren't a ton of games I wanna play for the PS4, so. I'm not curling my lashes today. Just because. Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Poke myself in the eye! Oh. Okay, I gotta go clean that up, but I'll be right back. Okay, I've kind of fixed it, but I just need to reapply some of that um, eyeshadow color now to my eyelid because I wiped it off. Recently, I've been using this sample of the um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. Can you see that? This is a sample, it's huge for a sample. 
but I'm really liking it. Honestly, it, it's um, probably almost or just as good as my favorite makeup remover, which is the um, Clean and Clear one. It's like a two-faced makeup remover, but yeah, this one's really good. And I don't have to rub very hard to get off my makeup. I would recommend it, and I would probably buy the full size. Look alive. <laughs> All right, let's uh, make my face look a little less dead. I think this camera is um, kind of a liar. It makes my skin look a lot better than it does in real life. So I'm gonna use the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation. I have the color 190 Nude. Click, click, click into this spongy majigger. Like the coverage of this foundation is um, light to medium, I'd say. I'm not really feeling like heavy coverage because I already feel like sick so I don't really want to feel like there's a layer of goo on my skin <laughs> as my boyfriend calls it he calls all my foundations goops like when I go and buy makeup and he's with me he's like why are you buying more goop he doesn't understand a girl's gotta get have her goop right I'm just using the Sonia Kashuk um, foundation brush to kind of like blend out the extra bits I do have the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Excuse me, it is a little bit dirty, but uh, I was too lazy to go uh, soak it in water and put it on my face, so I'm just gonna use the foundation brush. Plus, there's kind of a sponge on this thing, so. What these? Do I look more alive yet? I can't tell. All right, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin um, Concealer. And I have the color light. I feel like I might have bought too light a color. When I was buying this, I asked my boyfriend, which one is the right shade for me? And I put like this shade and then one one shade darker on my skin like that. And he's like, oh, get, get the one that I didn't actually buy. And I'm like, no, you're wrong. And now I'm kind of regretting it because I feel like this might be a little too light. Is that too light? I remember years ago when I first started to watch YouTube and like, makeup gurus and all that stuff. I remember, you guys know Michelle Fawn? Everyone knows Michelle Fawn. I remember her saying, concealer should be one to two shades lighter than your actual skin tone. And I think she's right, but I think she means for like under the eyes, not to conceal spots on your face. Oh, but I think I made it work. Yeah. I don't really have dark circles, but they're a little bit worse than I normally have them, so I'm gonna pull a little smidge or smooth of concealer there too. Okay, skin. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. And I'm just gonna contour the hecky out of my face. <coughs> Just a little in the cheekbones, not a lot. Oh, you can hardly tell I'm sick, unless you hear me hacking a lung up. <laughs> and then maybe a little blush would do me good, just to bring some life back to my face. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula um, Happy Booster Blush. This is in the color Rose. And I'm gonna take this cute little blush brush. <laughs> I got this from Forever 21. Well, I like it. I think it does a good job. Even though it's not like a fancy schmancy brush or anything. <coughs> Sorry, I should have covered my mouth. I want to use a highlight today just to tell people that, hey, I'm not a zombie. So I'm using this small size of Becca's Moonstone highlighter. This is what the inside looks like. Yeah, I am um, actually I'm not too impressed with this highlighter, but I can't find my benefit high beam, so I'm I'm sorry. Oh god, I am just so tired. I can't find my benefit what's up, so I'll use you Becca, I guess. Put a little smidgen on that cupid's boo. But mum, it's just me boo. This is the first lip balm I found in my makeup drawer, so I'm gonna use this. It's a May Maybelline Baby Lips um, uh, lip balm in Peach Kiss. It's kind of orangey, but like it doesn't really show up on your lips. 
Yeah, it just like makes your lips shiny. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> I should do a fun lip color. Like, come on. We should do a fun lip color, right? I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Suede uh, liquid lipstick, or they call it cream lipstick, in the color Brooklyn Thorn. It's kind of like a brownie color. <laughs> <laughs> Brownie color. This probably will make me look not fresh faced anymore and more like badass. That's not the opposite of fresh face, but here we go. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> I really like the NYX liquid suites. They're actually opening a NYX store in a mall near me. And I'm really excited to go to it once it's open because NYX makeup is super affordable, but the quality is usually like super good. So I'm gonna fill in that butt hole. All right, I think this makeup look is complete. So thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a really like chillaxed, non planned, like impromptu video but i hope you like this style of like um get ready with me so if you like the video make sure to give me a like and leave me a comment below and make sure to subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me thank you guys bye, -bye.